We're starting off this vlog strong because Ben and I are 95% positive that we made a monumental life decision. Um, okay, he's like, I'm waiting for him in the car. It's currently Monday at four o'clock. So this probably means that we'll be working from bed tonight. Um, but we're about to go to a home builder to pick out selections because if you follow me on instagram you know that we've been like on the hunt for a house for a year and a half we're paying up the butthole for rent right now and i've been in this apartment for three years which like it's an amazing apartment but that's a long time to live in an apartment especially when we've been trying to move out of here for a year and a half but where we want to move like many places has literally zero inventory and we put offers on multiple places and we just can't get anything so per ben and i this is like just so on brand for us we never ever considered building because we want to build our next house so like this first house we've always been like we're gonna live here for like four to five years and then we're gonna build the house that we like want to be in for 15 years and so we always like we'll just buy one and fix it up living there for four years and then we'll build and get exactly what we want and so it just seemed like stupid almost to like build now and build again in five years and we also really didn't even think that building was like an option um so we were on our way to get chinese food that's the on brand part because we like chinese food is our favorite food but we were on our way and they like had 10 minutes where they needed to cook and we were like okay well what do we do for 10 minutes and there's like a subdivision that's being built near the chinese place that we go to and so um we were like let's just drive around it and truthfully it's like my worst nightmare when it comes to wisconsin builders like it has a lot of the things that i think are wrong with it like the lots are really small it basically looks like they try to put as many lots in there as possible to like make as most as much money as you can you have to pick from like different you know like layouts and colors and stuff so the houses really have like no character to them etc etc so it never crossed their minds once to like move into this neighborhood um but as we were driving through we saw that one of the houses was like an open house and truthfully i kind of went into it to make fun of it well then we started walking through it and the layout is like perfection like let me just give you a rundown quickly on the layout of this place it, it has an office downstairs it has a two and a half car garage it has a mud room with like a locker situation a big walk-in pantry the kitchen is open to like the dining room eating area and the living room um and then upstairs is four bedrooms a the laundry room's upstairs and the owner's bedroom has two closets so ben and i have two walk-in closets so ben and i would have each one of our own like attached bathroom which like this was like not all of the other houses that we're looking at in that are available in this area need they're like already at the top of our budget and then they need like two hundred thousand dollars of work to them like it's just not something that we could do but this house had the perfect layout was in our budget so we're like oh wait a minute but here's the catch it is so builder grade like so 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 builder grade like we had basically like we had three exterior colors to choose from. Okay, maybe a little bit more, but like basically you have to choose one of their packages for exterior colors. You have like five different flooring options that are really, obviously I'm gonna choose like the best ones, but like they're all really ugly. Like I would never choose them any other way. Um, so like that's a downsize, but I keep telling myself it's like the, our first house. So it doesn't need to be perfect and we'll make it our own. Like as we live through it more and more, we'll make it exactly what we want it to be. So things really have escalated. We took Ben's parents there yesterday. We rewalked through it again, just the model home. Um, and then I'm waiting for Ben right now because we're going to drive to the place and actually make selections. But we're really excited. Like I'm just so zero to 100 that I've, it's been like all I've been thinking about. And it just, it kind of feels right. I'm almost relieved, even though we won't move into it for like a year because it won't be done for a year. It's just like nice and my apartment i was the first one to live in now this one i can be the first one to live in so pros and cons hello everybody i was told to give an update on behalf of the engaged couple um that was weird <laughs> no i like that you said that 
Because um, right after we get married, I want to call us newlyweds all the time. Okay. Yeah. So we are on our way to go look at, or to go work with the builder. This has really gone from zero to 100 really quick. We walk through a house. Wait, that's so funny. I said the same thing. My thoughts are that the real estate market where we are is totally overpriced for like not much. And this is like probably what we'd pay for any other like kind of outdated home. So it seems to make sense to go this route, which seems kind of crazy, but I'm excited. Um, I'm really excited. And I think it'll fit like our Lifestyle? Lifestyle really well. We're it's, aiming a little bit on what lots to choose. He wants one lot. Oh, I maybe want we should do like a poll or something. No, because I'm not about to show them the lots. Um, so basically, tell me what you would prefer. There's a lot that backs up into essentially woods, and there's nothing like behind those woods. Yes. Okay, but then say that my or the front of it. The front is that. There's like not neighbors like directly across the street. Like I want a house across the street. It's like, it's basically an open, like you can't build a house there. So it's like a, sm it's not a whole lot, but it's like a small lot in front of it. And then you can see basically into like everyone's yards in the back. But there are like houses like right next to it. So the other option is to get one where there's like this Essentially, it's like a circle in everybody's back of their house faces this pond like in the middle and it's kind of weird. Um, Sophie, I think, is kind of just projecting because she really wants to be close with our neighbors eventually. <laughs> yeah, I would And like... she thinks that only because we don't have a neighbor directly across the street from us that we won't be friends with people. Um, I so be, like, I think really social. And I, I feel like seeing people in the backyards is an easy way to be like, what are you doing? Like, want to come over for a drink? And if we're in our backyard, we won't know if anyone else is in their backyards. See, she's operating under the assumption that you're not trying to avoid your neighbors and that you really like them and actually want them to come. I want to be in the drink. action. I don't mind being in the action either. All I'm saying is that I'd rather not have people see into our back mm -hmm. door. And we could still invite people over that we like. Another day, another car ride. Um, okay, so Ben, I was like, please don't forget to record in there. And then he forgot to record. So we met with the um, building company and I think it's gonna be a lot more expensive than what we thought it was going to be. But the model that we walked through is like cheaper than what we, like is completely in our price range and we have like a little bit of wiggle room too. And so we're like, it, like it has the ugliest flooring I've ever seen. So I'm like, okay, can I rip out that flooring and put in new flooring, which whatever. So um, we're waiting for her to get final numbers on the build part of it. But right now I'm at the sophomore house and they had all the cabinets going in. So I'm so excited to um, see what those look out. Also my friends, um, my friend's getting married and a oh, girl's looking at me. My friend's getting married um, and she's just like, Sophie, I need some advice. Like I just got my floral quote back and it's insane. I'm like, I know. Wedding stuff is so stupid. Wow. Oh. I'm obsessed. Look at this color. Wow. Okay. Dishwasher going right there. Microwave going right there. Bench right here. Nina, you know, wow. I have been so slow today. It is Wednesday. I'm heading in to the office. I have to make a quick stop at the stores unit. Um, I went to Pilates this morning. I really did it all and I think we are gonna put an offer but we're switching gears we're gonna put an offer on the spec house 
and not built because the spec house is way way cheaper and i want to make changes anyways so the only thing we don't like about it we're obsessed like we're so blessed it's like my dream first house but it's green like and not a cute green it's like an ugly green so ben almost couldn't get past that one and then he's like sophie i'm being so materialistic i need to stop and i was like you are being materialistic the ball debate whether these are cute or not i think they're really cute okay so basically we're trying to spice up the nursery in the sophomore house and so we came up with the idea to do like paint three-fourths up the wall and then to do a row of these balls that would be the same color as the paint and then do wallpaper above for like the last quarter of the ceiling and i think it'd be so cute but people either think it's like really cute or really ugly everyone in the office thinks it's cute though right we yeah. love it yeah you know ugh, i want to do it so bad like i feel like that could go so viral on pinterest so fun. You can also bring a second plate over and you could look at them I just can't tell if I like the boldness or if I don't like it. Like if it looks well, tacky. I, I don't think it's tacky. I think it's just a different texture. You're already having... Like do you think it like it looks classy or does it look... Oh, I think it looks classy. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what definitely... But it's all, it's all a matter of taste too. Yeah, it's all, so true. relative, you know? Like, so, so true. Oh I'm in Chicago. We're celebrating Shelby's. She's visiting the city girl. 24th birthday. Yes. So we're walking right now. It's so nice out. No, like, it's actually so nice. We're about to pass uh, some mansions yes, of a brownstone. Some really nice houses. We're going to Velvet Taco, which if you go to Chicago or live in Chicago, it's the best, like fast, it's not fast food, but like Qdoba-esque best tacos I've ever had. It would probably be in one of my um, death rope meals. Really? I love it that much. Wow. So we're very excited. And then we're gonna go shopping for home furniture because I haven't updated them yet. Yep. Tell we them. Got, oh yeah, I have to like, I'll tell you guys the whole situation. But um, we ended up getting an accepted offer on the spec house. So we we're getting a house. <laughs> <laughs> so we're really excited. So we're gonna go furniture shopping and do all the things. Yep. We forgot to vlog, but it was so good. I literally first thought of you. That's so nice. That's so nice. What made you think Your boss. That's so nice. Okay, your turn. When is the last time you felt lucky to be? Oh my gosh, this week I felt so lucky. Yeah? I felt so blessed this week. Why? Because of like the house and, you know, being buying a house where we bought a house is not easy right now because the prices are so insane. At 25. At 25. It is now Sunday. I drove back early this morning um, from Chicago and now I'm meeting a friend. I'm meeting Lauren for brunch, which I'm super excited about. So we just ironically passed each other on the streets. I'm sure she's parking somewhere, but like what a fun weekend. Cheers. Cheers. Trying to tell Lauren that she needs to get an engagement dress ASAP. Do you just spill all over yourself? I've been trying to order some things, and every single time I send something to Sophie, she's like, oh. <laughs> so. Uh. All right, I'm making dinner. It's Sunday night. I always try to do, like, a bigger dinner on Sunday night so that I can eat the leftovers for the week. Um, you can't really see me. But tonight we're making a half-baked harvest meal. Of course, it's this, like, orzo meal casserole i'm a big casserole girl these days and i also love anything half baked harvest makes anything she is like amazing um and this seems like stupid easy so you literally just dump i'll give you the exact recipe i'll save it in the description or something so you can see it but it looks delicious and it can be done in like 10 minutes 
which is incredible. It's so much fun to see it. Oh my god, I need to fill you in on the house. Okay. Okay, it is Sunday of last week. Ben and I are waiting for Chinese food. I think I already told you this probably. Um, end up going through this neighborhood and walk through an open house. Love the layout, love the layout. And then we went and decided that I think we wanna move forward with this neighborhood. So we like met with the person to figure out what the pricing was going to be um, for like us building it because you know, builders like always try to do add-ons and stuff. And I was like, okay, knowing me, I'm gonna to wanna to do the add-on. So I wanna see what it is so that we don't get like screwed over and can make sure we can actually like afford it. And so as we were going through the add-ons, shocker i wanted all of the add-ons but the spec home that is for sale that we were going through kept like she was like okay well this is already like because we'd be like well what did the spec home have like she was like in what baseboard do you want and we're like what did the spec board have and it was always the upgrade and i'm like well what the heck because this spec home is ending up being like 30 grand less than the actual like house that we're building but it has all the upgrades so how does that work um and then also I was like, okay, I'm paying an absurd amount in rent right now because we're doing month to month to month to month is so much more expensive. I was like, if we can get in a house before this wedding, that'd be amazing. Um, and really stupid, but amazing at the same time. And so then I was like, my wheel started turning. I was like, what if we just buy the spec home? Like, and then, you know, make it our own. And so that's what we did. So we put an offer in, the offer got accepted. I've been on like, we both have been on cloud nine. I'm so excited. We're like doing a little bit of work before we go in. The spec home floors that they had were so bad. Like I just couldn't, I know it's such a materialistic thing, but we have a little bit more in our budget to play there. So I was like, okay, before we even move in, we're replacing the floors just on the first floor. Um, so we went and got some like LVP and we're putting that in. And I love the LVP that we chose. And then also there's a corner fireplace. I'm so sorry if you have a corner fireplace. For some reason, I can't stand them. And so we're getting that taken out. We were quoted um, to get that removed. And we're going to go and add in another fireplace <laughs> to like the center of a wall, basically. And I was going to add in a gas one. But now I found this electric one that looks like so good and realistic that I'm like, maybe we should just add in this electric one because no one would ever know and it still emits heat and everything so and like there were a ton of reviews and everyone was like amazed who had them so i think we might actually go that route but we're so excited i'm like looking at couches and all the things so it's been like such an amazing week i've been feeling so so like blessed um, good leftovers too what are you doing? Get away from me. Get away from me. Sarah's in town. I haven't ended the vlog yet, but it's over. It's over. This yeah, time. it's over. Okay, why don't, can you do the conclusion? I can't. Thanks for watching, everyone. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Turn on your notifications so you don't miss a video. <laughs>